Hi everyone. So today we will learn a new topic which is addressing mode in X085 microprocessor. So there are different type of addressing mode available in X085 microprocessor. So before move to that topic, so let me first discuss some important terminology related to the addressing mode. So now for my first terminology is instruction. Instruction. This is the first one. Second one is opcode. Third is operand. And fourth is addressing mode. So there are four, but three are related to this addressing mode. One is the instruction opcode operand and addressing mode. So let me first discuss or define the above three then we will come to the addressing mode so first is the instruction or first is instruction so what is instruction we have faced that term instruction and we have also seen the instruction is kind of instruction we have seen also and we have also seen that how does the microprocessor process this instruction also so let me first define this instruction in a definition in a particular definition so instruction an instruction is a specified specified binary pattern an instruction is a specified binary pattern which is placed which is placed to the microprocessor to perform to perform a particular or you may say certain operation so an instruction is a specified binary pattern specified binary pattern which is placed to the microprocessor to perform a particular or certain operation so we have seen we have uh, we have already encountered with an instruction as an example add add b or you may say register here so add b there was an instruction that we have faced already so add b so this is an instruction what does it mean so this instruction as you can see this is a binary pattern specified binary pattern which is play which is placed to the microprocessor or which is write to the mic written to the microprocessor to perform a particular or certain operation that you can see if you want to perform a certain operation like the add subtract complement then you have to write a particular instruction to the microprocessor so we will now just going to write this particular instruction the complete instruction here so now let's see the complete instruction add is the instruction b then it's a particular it has a particular binary code which is which is zero 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 and so now just let it write here you can see this is a op code operand this is a binary code and this now the hex code So what will be the hex code if this is a binary one then this this so what will be the hex code hex code will be 80h so this is the hex code so as you can see this is a complete instruction here i have written the complete instruction here so as you can see this is the instruction add b this is a instruction this is a 
hex code suppose if you wants to write something or if you wants to write this instruction to the microprocessor we will enter we will enter we will write the hex code a is your hex code to the microprocessor then microprocessor will start to perform the add operation so what does it mean what does it mean what does this instruction mean this instruction mean add the value add the content of this b register to the accumulator to the content of the accumulator add the content of the b register to the content of the accumulator so addition of the content of the register b to the content of the accumulator so this instruction means that so as you can see this is a complete instruction this is a binary code so i have just written this binary code into the hex one here so that's why i have here written the binary pattern which we will place which we place to the microprocessor to perform a operation to perform an operation so now if you if you look at here then you will find there are two part one is add this one and second one is this b this one so this add add is called the op code and b this is called the operand oppa operand so as you can see this is op code and there is a operand here so what is op code what is op code the tasks to be performed so the tasks the definition of op code is the tasks to be performed the tasks to be performed is called op code so as you can see this is a task basically this is a task that means that could be a task that could be the task could be an addition the task could be an this task could be an addition that task could be a subtraction this task task could be anything so the task to be performed is the op code here so that means this add is the op code here and what is the operand here what is operand so let me erase some part here so just this part i am just erasing this part here so what is operand here operand what is operand operand is the data to be the data to be operated on so the data to be operated on is called operand operand that means there is a particular data there will have any particular data into the register b so that data to be operated on so that's why this is a operand instead of this b register there could be two register there could be any address there could be a there could be some implicit operand like that uh, there's implicit term like the accumulator would be here so there could be anything so this is the operand here so this is the op code here so op code basically define the operation which operation it is to perform add subtraction implicit and operand is a data to be operated on the particular data that we wants to operated on that's the operand so three is completed op instruction op code operand is completed here now the fourth term which is addressing mode so now let me erase some part here so what is addressing mode so just erase this instruction part here so addressing mode so what is addressing mode so mainly the uh, there are various technique addressing mode is there are so let me define it there there are various technique to there are various technique to specify to specify the 
ऑपर एंड ऑफ द इंस्ट्रक्शन देर आर वेरियस टेक्निक टू स्पेसिफाई द ऑपर एंड जस्ट बी नोटिस सो ऑपर एंड ऑफ द इंस्ट्रक्शन सो दिस दोज और यू में से दोज टेक्निक दोज टेक्निक आर नोन एज एड्रेसिंग बोट दोज टेक्निक देर आर वेरियस टेक्निक टू स्पेसिफाई द ऑपर एंड operand so this operand could be a register this operand could be a an address this operand could be both two register this operand could be an implicit one so as you can see the technique to specify the operand in a various way is a addressing mode now just we are going to see there are different type of addressing mode that i have told you in 8085 microprocessor so the first so what are the different type of addressing mode available in 8085 microprocessor now the question is what are the different type of op addressing mode available so as you can see this is a addressing mode so what are the different type of there are there are five different type of addressing mode is available in 8085 microprocessor there are different type of how many five different type of as you can see here so what are they just listed listed down one by one one is direct addressing mode direct addressing mode second is register addressing mode addressing mode third is register indirect addressing mode fourth one is immediate addressing mode and the fifth one the last one last one is last one is implicit that i have told you again and again addressing mode so these are the five addressing mode available in 8085 microprocessor so now just we are going to discuss this one this five addressing mode one by one so now let's discuss start to discuss those five addressing mode one by one